Hey guys, Alex here with the Mega Cell Charger project. Uh, I made this video to respond to some of the issues that people have been experiencing uh, that they getting the chargers. First of all, I'm glad that uh, the chargers got there in one piece, and uh, there's two more issues that uh, we didn't catch up while producing this and uh, shipped. So. I know it looks bad, but I think it could have been worse and I saw people are disappointed on the project and uh, saying okay this this looks bad and uh, uh, from all the things that happened with the project like starting two times and all that and uh, the production issues, I think it's just one more bump on the road that we must iron out and uh, we, we we can do this and we'll solve this, we'll make it uh, right. So here here's the issues that I want to talk to you. The first one, uh, it looks like we've misspelled uh, by a lot the the voltage. It's It was 50, it was written 50 instead of uh, 5 volts. Uh, and that's partially my bad as well because I got that document in hand but didn't see it. It's 50 there. I guess we were just rushing to get everything together and uh, avoid further delays uh, and that slipped out. And the second which is uh, a bit more important um, is the fact that we misplaced the chip. That has been done due to the fact that We've been responding to some of the requests on uh, having uh, chips added for doubling the charging and also being able to control um, with how many milliamps you charge. So we put two chips, one is um, for charging with 1000 milliamps and one is charging uh, with 140 milliamps or something like that. Uh, to allow a slower charging at at the end and if we change a resistor you can um, make it uh, Charging with two amps or one and a half and stuff like that. So we wanted to have this uh, for future versions as well But now we wanted to just leave the chip uh, unpopulated and uh, Let it run like uh, it, it should be so there there are two chips there are two slots for the chips and we place the chip on the small charging zone so 140 milliamps and that's bad that I, i'm sorry for this mistake uh, we should have waited uh, two or three weeks more to get the the board tested and then respond to the factory and in this process they should have stopped production and uh, wait for us and there's a queue on the on the factory and that could have delayed for three or four weeks more they didn't wanted that we looked over the schematics there were no ma major changes so we decided okay let's let's go and don't delay it. so because of this delay some of you will experience because of this issue some of you will experience this delay that we cut off we trying to speed things up and uh, didn't wait it for the actual sample of the um, uh, assembled version because we did assemble it uh, on our own but we placed the, the components in the right spot and didn't experience any issues with that so that's why I thought it's a, it's a go to, to this so let me show you how you can think there are two ways to, to solve this problem uh, the first is do it yourself and some of you will not uh, like this uh, but I think we, we can we can do this together so these are the two components let me see so this on, on each cell you will see this chip right here this is the charging chip and this should have placed right here you don't see it in this photo because um, uh, I didn't get a, a right photo to show this, but uh, you understand this is the cell, this is per cell, and you will see these two chips. And these two tiny resistors uh, need to be swapped. 
So you desolder this one and place it right here. And this one you can throw it off or place it back there. It doesn't do anything now, this one. So this is 1.2 ohms. If I'm saying it right, this needs to be placed here. So some of you might not have some uh, soldering skills or soldering station. You can get that to a phone repair shop and pay five bucks and do it. This, this is a this is not complicated job if you have the skills to do it. But if you don't have any repair shop and don't want to bother this, you send it to us and uh, we'll take care of it for you and we'll pay shipping back to you as well. And uh, for those that can fix it themselves, uh, we're also giving uh, a $20 coupon on our website. So maybe maybe that will ease off some of the pain that we caused. And yeah, again, I'm, I'm sorry for these mistakes, but it just happened. I cannot undo it. Uh, we can just fix it and move forward with the... Uh, uh, with the next batches. The the second batch will be free of these issues. Uh, we'll take care of the misspelling on the document and also fix the resistors. Actually put the place, uh, put the chip, the charging chip where it should be placed. And uh, I also saw people are complaining about licensing and uh, to take care of this part faster you can install the software even if you don't receive the charger. I know that there are dozens of ways to to make this faster, but it requires implementing uh, more code to check licensing, to check chip uh, version, chip serial, and all that. And I know it's, it's standard for all the devices that you have that use licensing and stuff, but uh, it's a lot of work to implement. And this project it, it just got airborne I should say like it just got off the ground and we'll do all these things we we have the ability to do them but it just takes time and resources and uh, we just need to see that if this project can generate some money because so far it's been a lot of uh, back and forth with production because going from software production to hardware production it's a totally different game and you must learn all the quirks and solve all these kind of issues because if it would have been software that would be one line of code to swap it but it's hardware and there are 280 devices that will have these issues and again it's bad and it looks bad I think it's it looks worse than it is actually because some of the people were asking us to give this as a kit so they can put it together themselves and uh, I didn't want to do that because it's a lot of components to solder and fine soldering but you get the chance to to look inside and see what's going on and you see that uh, maybe for some of it will uh, will be a fun project so thanks for watching guys I'm, I'm sorry for the late reply I'm driving uh, I drove to Poland uh, for the past two days uh, in a business manner working on getting some batteries I, but I will I will update you on that later when I get back and uh, have all these issues solved and yeah see you guys thanks for watching and I'm sorry again but we, we will get this straight have some faith thanks